I've been watching y'all, covering y'all the last couple of years, y'all going against Cleveland and watching LeBron and just seeing what LeBron has done in this era. I know how we felt playing against Jordan. Like, Jordan was the most dominant player in our era, and I would, we would, we would talk for hours on the phone watching him play against another team. Mm -hmm. You know, just admiring him play, but at the same time, it was like there were things that he did in the air that we just couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And I look at LeBron James in this era, and I say he's doing things that, you know, y'all just can't do. How, how do y'all feel about LeBron? And then we can talk about how we talked <laughs> about Jordan. I'd say uh, in terms of, you know, one guy being able to change the course of a game the way he can, uh, he controls the pace. He does things that kind of look like, you know, how did how did he how did he do that? Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter sometimes how great a defense you play on him. And it's sheer strength and power to get to the basket. Um, he's obviously developed that outside game that that keeps you honest. Um, it's something that uh, you need all antennas up, all five guys every night, and you know um, if you don't bring it. He's, he's liable to try to expose you. So, uh, right. in terms of you know that first championship run, um, matching up with him, and some of the stuff that he did on a nightly basis, it was it was it was spectacular. But it, you know, at the end of the day, like that gives you even more kind of competitiveness and fire to you know try to figure out how to overcome it and, and, and still win. And it gives you a little bit more gratifying feeling when you do too. So, when we mentioned Jordan. Did you notice his body language? <laughs> 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 he said he stood on alert. He stood on alert like he stood in, in the film room. Hey, man, he's like, all right. hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, that is it. You know, it's the one game that, ironically, this may sound a little bit odd, but it's the, probably more than any other game. That's the game I look forward to the most. Mm -hmm. Because you knew that night, you had to be at your absolute best. And so if there's something, anything, a matchup or whatever, is, that's gonna bring out the best in you, if you're a true competitor, that's what you really want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it was the one game I looked forward to more than any other game to play against him because he was, everything that you just described with LeBron, I was listening to you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's about yeah. the way it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. like any slip up, uh, any lull, um, any mistake that's made, you're gonna exploit it. He's gonna take advantage of it. So you had to be so keenly locked in, game plan, here's what we're doing, here's where I need to be. And you would be furious if somebody didn't rotate they were supposed to, because yeah. you knew, yeah. you know, look, I'm trusting that you're gonna be there. Mm -hmm. And so, because if you're not there, <laughs> to, to, Dude's about to do some, you know, he's about to do something, you know, real freaky here. And so, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. He's about to get real yeah. freaky yeah. here. And I don't need this right now. Yeah. So I, I, I understand exactly what you guys are saying. We used to go back and, and talk after you, you'd be mm -hmm. playing and you you actually think that we've done a good job and then you look up at the scoreboard. That's the best way to explain it right And there. the dude right. got yeah. like... 39 yeah. or 40 That's the and you're like, damn, it. like, yeah. I, th I yeah. thought we was doing all right. Like, yeah. And, and then and then you get on the bus and you're talking and, and and I remember saying this to you I was like I feel like sometimes he he treating us like we in high school <laughs> <laughs> you know because yeah. he was that much bigger and and just you know much more athletic than we mm -hmm. were mm -hmm. and um, you know do you do you feel like a a strength difference because we talk about it a lot on television when we say oh he's so much bigger and stronger mm -hmm. but I don't know what it's like to feel it can mm -hmm. you like describe? oh you can feel it especially on the block and transition you just in awe of like I've never seen such a big human move so lightly on his feet mm -hmm. like his steps are small but they're so quick you know mm -hmm. it's incredible I remember one time in the finals I got the ball on a break and Andre was behind me, Iguodala, and LeBron was chasing me. He said, you better dunk it, you better dunk it. So I went up to flush it, and I almost killed myself because I was nervous LeBron was going to come by and, and just He was yelling that as you were drilling it? Andre was oh, oh, there. He oh, said, oh. Dunk, you better dunk it, dunk it, because he was coming full speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I almost 
the landing wasn't pretty. I right, right, right. made sure I flushed that thing because I wasn't trying to see that ball go to half court. Right. So that's just kind of the presence he has in the court. You know, you know where he's at at all the time. He's great at playing free safety, kind of like Jordan was, and you're just in awe of the things you can do in the air. I mean, like you said, me and Steph could never do these things, no matter how much you work, work on our vert, right. how many squats we do, we'll never be able yeah. to jump 40 inches and yeah. alter our body like that. We got to get it fundamentally. We got to right. get it for, with skill, but those dudes blend it with skill and just sheer power. There's no nights off, and that's draining. And that's why, you know, we're pouring champagne on each other at the end of the season, because you know how hard it is to get there. It's yeah. such a grind. Amen.